I'm going to check in. Okay, it's obvious they're stealing my stuff. We know what they're doing. This is minuscule to the chemical lab and the fucking the, the homicides. Until they get in here and they tell me that crack and all that stuff, forensic evidence and stuff, I don't have a vocabulary because I'm so fucking scared to death living in this fucking house. You can see why they throw one shit through my window. The cops do nothing. They protect everything here. I know, dude, it would scare the shit out of anybody. I'm an unarmed civilian. I'm a fucking regular chick. This is out of my caliber. Oh, I know that. When I started hearing women getting fucking killed, I was sleeping last night before bed and remembering. I remembered how loaded she was. She was so wasted. Anybody would hear that. A, a two-year-old would hear how loaded, wasted she was. And she was wasted. This is what I'm going to tell a top cop or a judge. I don't need to plead and testify my case anymore because I'm the goddamn witness to fucking homicides and shit. This is horrible what happened in Washington, D.C. How they try to cover everything up. It put me through so much fucking trauma. And I don't like how all these people on the TV are throwing that word around. And no trauma survivor appreciates that shit. You need to really realize what trauma is. I'll do what I would love to share what real trauma is. But it's when you almost die. People who live through life-threatening experiences. Anything less than that, you're not experiencing exactly trauma. So stop saying you have these cliche things to victimize yourself is all you're really trying to do which is an american thing we are like perpetual victims we like to do this uh whatever the word i have no vocabulary and this is really off track so let me get back on track it's really traumatizing to be a witness to homicide and have to beg people to believe you because when you go outside on the street they're just mad that you lived through it <coughs> that is the clear impression I get. Okay, this town is in full support of organized crime and all the, the things that organized crime does, which is murder kids, murder women, murder anybody who gets in the way. All right, and I witnessed it over and over again in this house. After being here long enough, I truly believe this is, I could talk to a cop about this, sure. But they're going to be the ones who tell you. I'm just the witness and I'm a full-on civilian chick. I believe, personally, it's because of that chemical lab. That's why they're fucking knocking people off in here. Okay? So we're moving to the mail. And I am kind of going through this fast because I'm really freaked out here. And I am kind of jumping because I don't want to stay on and get into and dwell into shit that is really scary because I'm sitting here by my fucking self still. So it's just not good psychologically for me to really get into a lot of trauma, real trauma when you survive something. That's trauma, you fucking losers in America. All right, so <clears throat> that's why I believe they were doing the, the assassinations, killings, whatever you call this here. All right, so the male, <clears throat> and the $23 pet ear medication is here nor there. But it's not really, I don't think, to a fucking prosecutor. Or, and I would have loved to have gotten a JD, but let's just leave it at that. I don't have one, and I can almost guarantee you all this stuff is adding up. Okay? It's incriminating the cops more that are involved with this shit and protecting everybody here. It's incriminating more, 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 more. The lawlessness <clears throat> in this house is so out of control that I know nobody with their head on their shoulders needs this to be proven further. Oh, I know that. But the fact that it doesn't stop and that no, nothing, I have no vocabulary, nothing is done is actually good it's actually god's will that i continue to testify and speak about what i'm witnessing 
report the stolen mail to the cops, who many are guilty, um, and report the stolen property. It is good that I do what I do. Okay, I'm not going to stop talking about these two here and what I witnessed them do. And what I have witnessed, smelled, heard, and physically felt in this house. When somebody screams, you hear that. And when they get attacked, you feel it. And the whole house is shaking. And I'm crazy according to the perps, the perpetrators of the violent crimes. I'm crazy and I imagine Hearing the metal bars on the window shaking, my fucking chair shaking, my floor pounding, that wall pounding, and a woman screaming, and all this fucking stuff. I'm, I'm the fuck imagining that. And I'm imagining the gruesome shit from last night. And I know I pivoted, but not last night. God damn it. What I'm trying to say. Thank you for bearing with me. Last night when I was going to bed, this is trauma survivor, real stuff. And you got to work through it because otherwise you just don't get out of it. You need to have somebody give you some coaching. Because last night I was before bed. This happens to real trauma survivors, not the ones that go on TV and want to claim this now. Like it's some sort of fad and trendy thing. It's not trendy to have survived something that you almost died from. The Americans are so far gone in their sickness. How much more can they just, whatever the word, people who live through shit, now you're just, just degrading them too. You are the fucking worst fucking humans, I think. Maybe worse than Middle East terrorists. You have no bottom. You, you see no bounds, dude. If you can take it for yourself and make yourself glorify, glorify and make yourself something special, you'll even say you're a trauma survivor when you're not even fucking ever lived through anything, dude. Nothing tried to fucking take your life. But you'll make up how this was trauma. You're not even using the word. It's not okay to say that. Find another word, you fucking losers. No, because trauma gets you attention. And you're a victim and there you go. This is exactly why you did it. You have no bottom and no bounds here, America. All right. But for real trauma survivors, dude, you, like often you lay down and it causes nightmares. Or you just start thinking too much before bedtime about the, the trauma, traumatic event you lived through. All right. That's the real deal. And it's not good. And you need coaching through that. You can't do it alone. No. All right. So, um... <clears throat> when you can get coaching, you know, don't go crazy trying to get coaching through your trauma if it's not the proper time. But do, when you can, do it. All right, so last night I was thinking, I was hearing it again, you know, in memory. She was so loud, um, you could hear her if you're out there. Oh, without a doubt. And you could hear her in the neighbor's backyard. You could hear her. And she went, oh, I heard her, and I took put it onto my social media. I was really good about all that. Um, and she was so, so, so wasted. So that's what I was thinking about before bed. I was like, my God, Heidi, they got her so fucking wasted before they killed her, dude. And then I started thinking, do, do, who does that? Like, I, I guess like y you see that on the, the scary movies, the serial killers, they, um, get their victims drunk or high, right? Basically, but I mean, this is like so new to me. I've never seen anything like this, but they totally set it up. They had her up there. I don't know if she was with somebody. It's really scary, dude. She was up there in that room for, um, this is where I have to, because I'm a witness to it. I have to um, tell the top cop or the judge like precision, even though I'm just talking on social because this is, I'm an actual witness. Yeah, I'm a survivor of this shit too. It's really scary. At least three hours, Your Honor. Three hours for sure, give or take 10 minutes. It went on for over two hours, senior detective, where she just went, ah, 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 
not. She was making these like wailing, laughing sounds. Ha ha ha. She was so fucked up on something. And then she would go, ha 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 ha. And this went on and on, dude. And then there would be like the slamming. I put it on one of my socials. Someone up there kept going in and out of that room, I thought. I don't know, because it turned out there was more than one person. Right, we know that dude was up there. That fucking white lady was up there. But one of the doors kept going, boom. And then like, I don't know, every half hour, boom. Slamming that shit. And she would go, ha, 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 ha. She wasn't in pain, at least I didn't think so. It sounded like she was really fucking wasted. And she was kind of laughing. But this is where I'm confused. Well, no, I think they got her fucking wasted and then they, they killed her. Well, they did. I'm sure I heard that shit. Because at the end, okay, and this is the shit I'm thinking about before bed. I'm still in this fucking room and I still look up at that ceiling. Before, yeah, dude, that's real trauma, okay? It's not cool. I, I witnessed here. And this guy downstairs is really dangerous, I know. Okay, so um, she was doing that kind of crap, dude. It was really fucked up scary. And then she went, <laughs> like I describe it like a black girl that sees someone at a club and she's really happy and she goes, <laughs> right. And that went on for about maybe under a minute. And then it wasn't that, it was gargling. It sounded like they covered her mouth. It was mm, uh, uh, mm, uh, whimpering just like that. Mm, uh, and then all this fucking sports, I call it sports being played on my fucking ceiling. Can you imagine? And they're telling me I'm fucking crazy and I imagine that shit. That shit happened in the fucking sports, right? I call it sports. It sounded like they were fucking playing fucking football up there, right? Knocking the furniture down and shit, right? It went for a good like 15, 20 seconds. And then after that, all that, she wasn't laughing no more when the sports played. The sports, it was nothing but just sports, just pounding on the ceiling and pounding. Ain't nobody laughing. It was nothing but fucking booming. And then after the booming was done, it was dead fucking silent. Okay? And this dude downstairs is what I'm really trying to get at. Yeah, every time I go to that corridor, look who's coming right at me right there. No, no, dude. And that lady today, the first thing I noticed when I saw her, I saw her face, was how sunken and dark circles around her eyes. She looks like visible, like a two-year-old. I really mean this, it's so stark, so clear. A little kid could tell you. She got a serious fucking drug habit. Like, yo, is that lady going out on the street? I don't know, but does she? Cause that's just real, like obvious, obvious fucking druggie is passing you on the sidewalk. Mommy Sita, I am not kidding you. Come check this chick out. The drugs here have gotten, I think, even more intense. I don't know, but they look worse than ever. Because when I moved in, they didn't look like that, dude. No, sir. I can tell the top cop and the Your Honor that too. No, Your Honor. By the second year after all the homicides, the chemical lab and all this stuff, they looked really sick on drugs. And this is my under perjury, under oath testimony. They looked really sick on drugs. So right now, here today, with the stolen mail, the stolen stuff, all this crap, stealing out of my bathroom, everything, dude. All right? So get me to talk about them so they can bring in the people to knock on my door again. This guy, I think, has... I, I got to say it legally, right? Because I don't want their cops to come and say I'm paranoid, although I just told you what I heard upstairs. I think that's an irrational fear I fucking have. Let me back up. You know this guy's bad news. Fuck this. I'm not gonna be afraid of their fucking dirty cops saying I'm paranoid anymore. This is, this is, this is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, um, this guy keeps cornering me with my back to that door. Every time I'm standing there, every time. 
I could go down there right now, he would come running up right there. Should I do it? If my guidance says, yeah, do it, I will. Because I know he won't hurt me. I believe in my guidance. I'm not going to fucking defend myself no more. This is just done. Um, but I mean, we could keep doing this. He's going to come running up to me every time I'm at that corridor. The thing is, I won't go down there if my spiritual guidance says, no, it's too dangerous. Because the fuck, dude, it's obvious, okay? Yeah, these people know a lot of really dirty federal agents and cops. And I think this guy, because of what he's doing, is trying to take matters into his own hands. I think he might have an idea that he might get busted. There's another fucking viewer. These viewers are all just creeps. It's probably the fucking junkie fucking suspect upstairs. So just ignore them. Um, <clears throat> I think that they might, because as high as they obviously are, I don't know what's processing through their um, cognitive right rationale. So I think they might have an idea or a slight iota that this gig is up here. Okay, especially after you you do a chemical lab like that, dude. That shit's fucking done. All right? And um, they keep trying to constantly steal my property. Constantly steal my mail. Stealing stuff out of my bathroom. What else, dude, right? To get me to talk about them because they think if I talk about them, that gives their dirty cops the right to come and remove me, the witness, from all their felony crimes out of the crime scene. Right. I tell their dirty cops this. Remove your fucking associates or whatever this word is they are. Affiliates or whatever. Get them away from the witness. Get them away from the evidence. Get them out of the crime scene. Have you considered that? Lord help you, man. All right. Um, so. All right. And that fucking lady is in that room now all the time? I know. Dude, forget it. That room where the fucking chick got jumped like that and killed? These people are fucking dangerous. Just come look at this lady. Her eyes are fucking sunken and circles. She looks so fucking strung out. She did not look that fucking nasty when I moved in here. If someone like that would have come near me when I first moved in here, oh hell no. This lady looks bad, dude. All right, anyways. So he's, he's always there when I'm going down there. So, I mean, I'm going to tell you, next time I go down there, they check for my mail or packages that they've probably stolen at all anyways. He's going to be fucking running up right there when I'm at the corridor. In his mind, I think he's trying to, I think this is what I mean. They have an iota. This isn't working out for them. They're going to take this into their own fucking hands. That's what I believe they're doing. And every time I'm fucking there, Mr. Who, ne this guy never comes out of the basement. And everybody who's watched this, all the cops, all the vets know that. Every fucking time now that I'm standing there, he comes right up to me. He's so close to me. He's like six, seven, eight, ten inches from me, dude. He makes sure he comes right up to my personal boundary physical space. He does it on purpose. Right up to me. Right there in the corridor. Every time. Uh-huh. That's what he does. All right, I don't like this fucking perp who's viewing my fucking video. I've had enough of this shit. It ain't your country. It ain't your world. You're going to prison. All right, bye.